Hey, what's going on guys? This is Jetto bringing you a new video on Duel Links and today we have a deck submitted by a viewer and a subscriber of the channel. Their name is Neon. He's, I'm really good friends with him in the Discord. He's a really, really cool guy. And he, he submitted a Flameville deck and said, why don't you try this out for a video? I looked over the deck and it looked actually really good. And yeah, we're going to test it out today and see what we can do with it. So the Flameville um, deck, this is what it's based off right here. And we have this guy, he's going to be the main focus of the deck, I can already um, tell. Everyone already has a few copies of this because we've got to get given for free. And when this card destroys a monster by battle and sends it to graveyard, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the level of the destroyed monster. It's 1,700 with um, Mightiest Fire, it's going to go up to 2,300 I believe. Um, we're running two of these new cards. So we can search it out because um, when it gets destroyed by battle, you can add one monster with 200 defense from your deck to your hand. This guy has 200 defense. So it's really a sweet combo. Um, this guy also has 200 defense, 1,700. And this one is, if you, if this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle while you have three or more Flameville monsters in your graveyard, select one card in your opponent's graveyard and remove it from play. If your opponent does ha does ha 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 ha. Sorry. <laughs> if your opponent does not have any spell cards in their graveyard when blah blah blah, inflict 500 to your opponent. So if they got no spells in the graveyard, you inflict 500, which is pretty cool. We got this guy right here as well. If this is normal summon, target four pyro monsters in your graveyard, shuffle four of them into your deck, draw two cards. So we can recycle our monsters and draw two cards, which is pretty cool, pretty cool as well. And we're running um, this guy as well. He's like a big beater. You can special summon him and destroy a monster on your field. I don't know if it combos with this. Oh, if that's if, if it's destroyed by battle. It'll be cool if you could summon this and then destroy your thing to get a free search off, but no. Everybody knows this. Um, you see it in quite a lot of different decks. If you control a fire monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. When you do target one fire monster, you control destroy that target. And then each of your summer phase, you can special summon one fireball target. Um, and then you can tribute one fire monster that gained, and this gains 500 attack. Pretty cool monster. So yeah, that's the whole focus of the deck. We're running a Cosmic Cyclone. Um, I'd run a few more of these, but I've only got the one. Um, you pay 1,000 life points, target one spell on the field, banish it. So that can get our Mightiest Fire going straight away. We're running two anti-magic arrows to lock down back row during battle phases. Two Econ, um, two Floodgates, and two Mirror Walls. The Floodgates combo really nicely with our main dragon monster right here. And yeah, we'll jump into a battle and see what we can do with it. Um, so I'd like to say thank you to Neon for submitting this deck and let's see how good it is in King of Games. So let's just go for it. And we found a duel straight away already. Everyone's saying that Flameville are still not good in this game and they need work, they need a few extra cards, but this deck looks promising. I can see some good combos with it I can, and it has got pretty powerful monsters. So, yeah. Let's see what this deck can do. Especially with Bastion's new revamp to all of his skills. Well, field spells. It's really, really cool. Does he have Mind Scan or Reset? We'll find out. It might be an extra extra. That'd be annoying. So we've got a pretty good opening hand here with Magic Arrows, a Mirror Wall, and we've got the guy. I'm not even going to call it by its original name. He's going to be called The Guy. So we are facing extra, extra tilt, which is pretty annoying, but I think we'll still be able to do something against it. That means he'll only take 1,000 damage per turn. That's still completely fine. And he just ends his turn. So I'm going to guess he's got a Sphere Creebo in his hand. Um, for this turn, what I'm going to do is go for the, the Charmin first, because he'll take an extra 500, because he's got no spells in the grave. We don't need to activate arrows, we'll just go for the attack. Wait, it's effect didn't pop off. I think if this would be... Alright, it, it needs to pop off its effect before it, um, they take the 500 damage. So I need to destroy a monster by battle. So he sets a back row, that's completely fine. A another back row. And ends his turn. He will most likely have the Lava Golem, but I'm not too afraid about that. So we'll bring out this guy now. And we'll just go for battle. We'll activate arrows because we have two of them. Attack directly. Attack directly. Trust the first duel to go against is going to be an extra extra tilt, but it's completely fine. He's got 2,000 life points. 
we have another arrows in our hand. If he gives us a lava golem, we can arrows and attack the game, I think. Actually, no, we can get um, Goku out. I'm going to call him Goku, even though it's um, Goku. So he activates his golden ladybugs. That's completely fine. Is he going to massive morph something this turn, just in case he's too afraid of the magic arrows? We'll see what he does. So he sets down another back row. Is he going to lava golem? He is not going to love a gun. So I think we just... Yeah, we've won. We basically just win right now. So I will go into... Oh, no, 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 no. I misclicked, I think. Yeah, I did. So... Oh, that's pretty bad. I'm just going to end my turn. Because what I need to do was Cyclone his Field Spell and then Magic Arrow go for attack. But I was going to... Um, I accidentally clicked Battle Step and that would have Magic Arrowed first. So I wouldn't be able to Cyclone. Because we could have had the game. So we'll just wait one turn. So we're still completely fine. Plus I had my Toddle off. He can't play any more back row. We're in pretty good shape. He just ends his turn. We've still got game, I believe. So we draw, now what we'll do is activate Cyclone, destroying his Field Spell. We'll activate Mightiest Fire, boost our monsters up, um, bring out another monster, why not? So that's a Floodgate out of the way, that's completely fine, we've still got game. Activate Battle Step, play another Magic Arrows. So thank God Neon put some Magic Arrows in this deck, or else I think we would have lost. And we just got game. So we'd be extra, extra tilt. That's pretty cool. I like the fact that um, it's got Magic Arrows in, so we can actually get some attacks off. Magic Arrows are coming back with Vengeance. They're appearing in so many beatdown decks, like Dinos. I've seen loads of Magic Arrows in. They're in Red Ice. And they're in most powerful decks these days. So you need to be careful of magic arrows. What I've seen people do now is activate mirror wall during the main phase. Um, just to stop there. No, activating mirror wall during the opponent's main phase. So in the battle phase they can't magic arrow. And pin it. So that's the first win, which is pretty cool. Against a control extra extra deck. We messed up as well, um, turn 2, but we still pulled it back. So we're going against a Seto Kaiba. It's probably going to be Red Ice, I'm going to guess. Or it could be a Hazy Beatdown. That, that's a pretty powerful hand again. So we'll set Floodgate, we'll set that, and we'll summon our monster and end our turn. We'll find out what he's playing right now. And another really cool combo is you activate your wall when you, um, they get attack into you and you pay for your wall. That way you can get your field spell out straight away. He's just going to set a monster. I've got a feeling... Oh, fire formation. That's pretty cool. I was going to say, he, I've got a feeling he's running... He's got hazy, but I, f I thought he was running Phoenix for a second. That's still completely fine. I'm going to floodgate. And he's probably going to set the spell to lock down my other one, so I'm going to activate it. Yep. Give me the choice to activate. Give me the choice to activate, please. It's not going to give me the choice to activate. That's a bit annoying. I should have activated it when I got um, the opportunity. If I remember correctly, we can still get over his um, back row. Wait, how much defense has I got? Da -da 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 -da. It should say. 1,900 defense. So... Special summon this. And because of that we have to destroy this guy. There's no point of using arrows right now. That's annoying. I really wanted to play my Econ before he could pin it down. 
but it might have also been bad because of all of his monsters of fire, meaning we could have got screwed over because the filter well will help him out. So this is going to summon a token. Activate his ability just to destroy the token. And it'll pop its attack up to um, 2700. That's pretty good. And we'll attack with 2700 and end our turn. All he needs is one Fighter Fist monster and a Hazy and he can um, start popping off. Which is pretty scary. So hopefully he doesn't draw into any of his combo pieces. And he just ends his turn. So the Floodgate came in clutch for us at the beginning. So this is going to special summon a token. We can summon our Shaman. And we don't even need to get rid of the, to um, the token this turn. We'll just go for game. I really do like the Fire Fist Hazy deck. It's a pretty powerful deck. You'll probably want to be down with it as well. Because the Fire Fist help out um, your Hazy's so much like to be able to get them special summon first turn. And then the um, Fire Fist spells power up beast types and they can lock down your opponent's back row. Really powerful deck. So we've got two wins already with this deck. It's pretty cool. Neon did a good job of making this deck. He did um, roll, run a soul release in the deck as well to banish five um, cards from either player's graveyard. But I replaced it with the Cosmic Cyclone because I think the Cosmic Cyclone works a little bit better than the soul release. Because Cosmic Cyclone does banish a spell or trap, but you also take a thousand, meaning it helps out for the filled spell. So you can pop it off easier. I think that's the only card I changed out. So we're going against another Seto Kaiba. Is it going to be a beatdown variant? We'll find out. Looks like Restart. Which it isn't. Oh, it's another Hazy. Facing all of the Hazies. So he summons, ends his turn. We draw into three Shamans. Um. Why not? I'll just throw Shaman onto the field right now and end our turn. It's a pretty bad matchup, I'd say, against... Um, well, we won the last match against Hazy, but the field spell powers up Hazy like crazy because all Hazy monsters are fire. So you're going to have the advantage over any deck that's not complete fire. I think he's got the magic arrows as well. That's going to be annoying if he does. Yeah, because if we take battle damage, we could we can't activate our fill spell because they will gain power as well, which is annoying. So we can't like overpower them. He's just gonna go straight for battle, I think. Don't have the arrows. Do not have the arrows. He doesn't have the arrows, which is cool. Battle step. I'll activate my wall, and he'll take an extra five hundred, I believe. No, he won't. Still don't know how that guy works. So we're going to pay for the wall this turn. Um, summon this guy. Might as well activate it. And we can only end our turn. Because we drew into three shamans and hardly any support. Right now we might be able to pop off with um, by tributing that for a hazy monster. Using beatdown. I don't know. Hopefully he doesn't have anything. And if he does go into the hazy combo, it's not like we can econ take because he can't be targeted. It's going to be a pretty difficult battle right now. Yeah, his monsters 1,800 at ours. Our basic monsters are 1,700. So he's thinking about his play. I could see this deck doing really well against Red Ice, so that's it. that's something to keep in mind. It's a shame we didn't bump into a Red Ice deck. So he's still thinking about his play. I think he might just surrender. Because he doesn't know what he's facing. Oh, there is. Soul Exchange. That's completely fine because this deck has um, some combos from the grave to shuffle back into the deck and stuff like that. He's probably going to send the dragon. It's the biggest threat. It's a shame um, none of the flame fields have piercing damage. 
because with that on the field, and, and if they have fire monsters, to go to zero and piercing would be pr pretty cool. And I was right, he did target the dragon dude. And he's probably going to go into the lion looking thing, what's it called? The Sphinx. Oh no, he's running Horus, which is pretty scary. We're probably going to draw into something. Oh no. We <laughs> We basically lose right now because we drew we drew into all three of our monsters. All three shaman and all three dragons. Oh well. I think that was just bad luck on our side because the deck is pretty balanced. It's running um, the right amount of monsters and the right amount of spell and traps. It's just we just got screwed pretty badly, unfortunately. I did that because um, I know it's game over so I might as well help him out with a win. But yeah, two out of three duels so far. Um, we won the first two, which was pretty cool. It's just we got screwed over with a brick hand in the third duel. I could definitely see this deck being good. Um, I think people are right. It does need just a, ne um, a little bit of extra support. I don't know what it is, um, but maybe if you flame-filled spell and traps could work. Because flame-filled don't have any uh, like proper spell and traps in the game. it would be pretty cool if we could see some. But overall, I do, really do like this deck, it can be fun. And if you're in gold, or like rookie, or bronze, or whatever it is in PvP, I can definitely see this deck um, getting you all the way to platinum at least. So if you're stuck in gold and stuff, instead of using like a proper competitive meta deck, because usually they don't work um, in the bottom ranks, just use this deck, it will easily get you to platinum. So he's just going to beat down and end me. <laughs> But yeah, this deck is really cool. And I'm going to um, do this now and again. Take viewer suggestion decks and use them on the channel. See how they do. And stuff like that. So Flameville. Pretty cool deck. We won two duels. We lost one. Not too bad. Like I said, they just need a few um, more support cards. Like a few Speller Traps. I want to see what that guy's deck. It looked, he was, yeah, he was running the complete fire deck, a crazy looking fire deck. Wow. So no matter what we did with the field spell, his fire is better than our fire. Oh well, I'll put the deck on the screen one more time for you guys, just in case you want to copy it. So wait for it to load in. So here's the deck, if you want to copy it, go ahead. It's a really, really fun deck, as you can see. Um, I want two duels, lost one. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. Um, leave down below decks that you'd like to see on the channel. Tweet me your decks. Go into my Discord, leave um, a deck going, hey, check this deck out. Um, I'd like to see it in a video or something, and I'll cover it. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and peace.